The obsessive imagination, it gazes unblinking, it floats in a cold, cracked plaster room, somewhere between a bed unmade and a ceiling unlit, and then, like sand, it trickles all too quickly through arthritic fingers to the floorboards, and at best it is grit. Blink, and it is gone. 1519. The New World. The Spanish stand steady, hands on hips and hilts, and here it is, under a steel grey sky, that they shimmer in their dark death garden. The dark and dirty stand, sated, out there beyond the tree line, backs turned upon sand, once golden for them to grasp. But the trees do not care. Here lies Earth wrapped worm eater forever. None as yet. Boys, haul up the boats and make them fast. I am required to bite my time until the very last. 1629, Massachusetts Bay. The British stroll yonder, nonchalant beyond the tree line. Myriad torches and pyres, flames greedy for land, Cromwell's sword greedy for blood. Seaward glances too few venture to make, over their shoulders, back out beyond the tree line to the beaches that saw them land. Virgin sand was once out there before the tree line, nothing more. A once upon a golden time coastline that gunpowder so deep a black had conquered for flame. The dark and dirty stand sated out there beyond the tree line amidst the ashes. Compost, the trees do not care. The confounded minstrels compose a melancholy refrain. Oh, here lies Earth wrapped worm eater forever. None as yet. Boys, haul up the boats and make them fast. I am required to bite my time until the very last. Boys! Seaward glances over a shoulder toward hidden nightmare coves. There is never an easy night's sleep out there beyond the tree line. There are shallow graves out there beyond the tree line where history and time are simply compost. The trees, the plants, the maggots, they do not care, they simply feast. Under a steel sky shimmers the dark garden awaiting its troop of strolling players. Sheltered lawn, the confounded minstrels perform a melancholy refrain to invite you to the ball. Minstrels, a few, buffoons you all. Hello, oh, here lies Earth wrapped worm eater forever. None as yet, boys! Between sticky rumpled sheets a head stirs, moves its unkempt, day's unshaven face just slightly upon a sour pillow. A shrill, carefree laughter taunts the itching crotch. It haunts, it echoes in all the painful longing places. It trades from all the distant walls. drawn to filter out a sickly morning light. Silence. Silence of a sort. The hint of a sound. Whiskers scratch across the smooth weave of a viscose pillowcase. The occasional breath. A distant gust of wind. Rain against the glass. 
glossy eyes stare toward and through condensation on the window pane. The greatest of damned and accursed storm cloud steel sky cataract. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock A bright new day is born. Kitchen sink, stairs, gags, clockwise on a cup of terrible stewed tepid tea. Toast, bleeding gums. Toast, bleeding gums. Toast burnt, sibilant, clickety clack under rusty red brick cells, bridges cells, over the cells, brown, stairs, rusty water drains, mud and clogged gutter drains, rain shards, breaking glass, industrial baby, clickety earphones, brick crumbling, broken glass shards, bloodshot eyes. Thumbs on blue screen, selfie scream, a City million smiles echo, to sell, duttering and splutter spluttering, and choking, down, choking into strangled silence, screams no to buy one, into violent nothing, dreams, and the most delicate of flowers for them to share, staggers on the edge of the abyss, there to strangle. Plants feel their way down through rich, mulch, nutrients. There is a shallow grave out there beyond the tree line. Plants feel their way up toward the daylight. The maggots do not care. No one, nothing beyond the tree line where roots finger imperceptibly down through rich nutrients and the faded yellow-orange petals of flowers half remembered indiscernibly reach up to touch the soggy, suffocating evening light. Quite still, almost silent, under a steel sky, a dark garden awaits its troop of strolling players, minstrels sung buffoons them all.